What's up guys, it's Greta, and today we are doing, yet again, another Halloween costume. And this one's really fun for me because I got super crafty with it. Uh, I feel like each video got a little bit more and more uh, in detailed with its craftiness. So I did my Cruella de Vil one, which I just grabbed clothes I already had, and a wig. Uh, and the Scarlet Witch, I cut out the dress and made the like uh, headpiece. This one required much more crafting, and I'll show you quickly what I did, um, and I will tell you like how I did it. I'll insert some pictures with some of them too. So first I made this headpiece, this like flower crown. Um, it is based off like a gold wire. I've got this fun um, stone thing there that'll sit like right on the forehead. And then I got the flowers from Joann's. They were their fall collection, so they were all like 80% off. So probably cost me like $3 to make this. Secondly, because this is a fairy look, which I hadn't even announced yet, we're doing a woodland fairy. I didn't want just regular ears that were boring, so I actually um, created these with uh, some gold wire and hopefully you'll be able to see them. Otherwise, when I actually wear this for Halloween, I will make different ones, but I'm hoping those will work because all the gold matches. And then I made cellophane fairy wings, which are super cool because no matter like what direction, they're like showing a different color and it's just like really cool. So, um, yeah, those are fun. That took me a long time because on each section where the wires connected to another wire, I took the smaller wire and wrapped around it and it was kind of like an all day project, um, which was a lot of fun and I'm glad like all the work paid off and it didn't look hideous at the end. So I just looked at a picture of um, a butterfly. I like the butterfly's wings and then I drew them on cardboard. You'll see the pictures and uh, that was that. Once you find a butterfly for your wing inspiration, draw the wings on cardboard or paper with pencil. Then fill that in with Sharpie to darken it. That was the bottom and this is the top wing. This is a picture of them getting ready to uh, have the wire work done. The wires are taped down after being cut to the shape and size. This is them done and each place the wire is connected, I connected them even more securely with smaller wire. This is the cellophane and glue. You're going to glue the wings down to the cellophane and then sandwich it in between and rub out any bubbles. Then you're gonna cut it out, you're gonna iron it and then burn the edges and boom, you have wings. So now I'm going to put the wig on and I'm gonna do some fairy makeup, which I'll speed through and just kind of chat about um, hopefully in like a voiceover or something so it's a little bit faster than my other videos and then I'll show you the whole outfit and everything put together. So uh, let us begin. All right, so I somewhat successfully put the wig on my head. Now I am going to try and recreate uh, something similar to this, which is my inspiration photo found on Pinterest. Um, so I'm just gonna see what happens and uh, let's get into it. What I did for makeup was take some nice pink blush and put that kind of all over the cheeks, nose, and a little bit on the forehead. I took some shiny gold, put that on the cheekbones, uh, 
eyebrow bones <laughs> uh, filled in the eyebrows added a little bit more highlighter here I'm doing a little bit of eyeliner which you couldn't see because my mirror is in the way then I brought some darker shadow underneath some nice brownish on the eyelids and then like a goldish on the inside I've got great explaining skills for makeup because I'm so great at makeup uh, then I just kind of cut around the wig a little bit more where it didn't uh, glue down very well and added some eyelashes and uh, it's pretty much all I did uh, for the makeup besides like the actual face paint part. So uh, that is the Woodland Fairy makeup. We've got the makeup pretty much done except for the face paint. I'm going to go ahead and style the hair and then add the details and then we're done. So what I did was two rope braids in front of the ears to kind of separate the hair from the ears so you can see them better. That way when you put on your fake pointy ears, you can clearly see them. I definitely really struggled with these. They kept falling off, but uh, we'll make that work. Uh, then I took a little bit of hair from behind the ears to separate that even further and just did a little ponytail, added my details, and there we go. Can you help me put on my wings? Where are they at? Alright, so this is going to be a little tricky. Where'd that ribbon go? Because I actually didn't finish a step. So basically, I'm going to have to have you... What is that? My light ear fell off. I'll put that on later. Um, maybe just like take these two pieces and see if you can tie them around like the this in between parts. Is it long enough or no? Mm. I can hold the wings. I mean, it doesn't look good. I know it's not going to look good. I'm going to have to fix this later because I forgot. That's perfect. There you go. How do I look? Good. Do I look like a fairy? Oh yeah, in costume. <laughs> Thank you. my Halloween get ready with me woodland fairy edition I hope you enjoyed this one this is definitely my favorite one I've done so far obviously um, with the wings I kind of forgot what um, I forgot how I was gonna put them on and so I was meant to do ribbon in a different way but I had to make things work for now and I'll fix that later when I actually wear this uh, for Halloween so this is what I got I got this dress I kind of pinned it up a little bit in this little mini corset belt thing I made the wings you guys saw that the, the flower crown I also made um, the pointy ears I made those and then I just wore some clothes these were already mine. This is from a Halloween thing from like two years ago. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I did. It's really fun, really cute. And I can't wait to wear this one for Halloween. If you like this video, give it a like. Give it that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I do make videos weekly. Um, during October, I've done a lot of fun uh, dress up, get ready with me's for 
obviously Halloween costumes, uh, but I do a lot of educational videos for cosmetology as well. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. All right guys, that is the option to include the face paint with this style and look. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.